Hi, everybody. Trish Wood here. And we have a really special guest today, someone who seems to have, through research and other means, and through his, obviously, his academic credentials, solved a problem that I've been struggling with almost since the beginning of COVID, which is why do we all feel so cognitively impaired what has happened to our brains? Why are we depressed? Why are people we know to be critical thinkers walking around like zombies who've landed here from another planet and who don't seem to be able to recover from that? Why are we vulnerable to the repetition of talking points and propaganda that is clearly absurd and yet is driving even to this minute of recording the show uh, people's opinions on things. It's, it's not even like they have opinions. It's like holding a talking point or a propaganda point is enough to form belief and a commitment to a belief. It is, as I have said on the show many, many times, one of the strangest cognitive phenomena I have ever experienced. Matthias Desmet held a piece of it with his mass formation psychosis, which was you know, it, bits of it are super credible, bits of it maybe not so, but he's working through a thesis as people do, and we learn things, and that's how science changes. He was absolutely right to publish what he did, and, and I believe he grabbed a piece of it. Some kind of mass hysteria hit us all. Some of us were more immune to it than others, thank God, but some people seem very, very susceptible and vulnerable to it. And whatever that phenomena is, it's not over yet. It's still happening in, uh, in, in relation to other events that are happening in the world right now. And if, I don't know if you can hear it, the private school across the street from my studio rings a church bell every day <laughs> this time. It's one of the highlights of my day. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but I love it. Anyway, so our guest today is a a person who has studied this phenomenon. He has a new book out called The Indoctrinated Brain. Doesn't that just kind of hit home for you that there's something in there that we all need to be talking about right now? Because if we can't name the phenomena and we can't see the shape of the phenomena, how are we ever going to escape from it? It's going to kill us, I think. It could even kill our culture and our society because I believe this is one of the most divisive things that could ever happen to us, right? So without further ado, I mean, I could talk all day myself, but I want to hear from him. It's Dr. Michael Nels, who is in Germany somewhere. Where are you, uh, Dr. Nels? Uh, I'm at the city of Freiburg. It's close to the border to Switzerland and to France, so it's uh, multicultural here in this area. Nice. Like Lugano, one of my favorite places in Italy. It's also kind of a border town like that. You can go everywhere. Okay, so let's get started because we've got a lot to unpack. As they say, I will confess I have not read the actual book, which is something that I hate to admit. I try to read everything when I have an author on, but you're not published yet. So this is also a bit of a scoop, which I'm quite proud of. Um, but I did read everything that's been written about what you've written, including Naomi Wolf's wonderful piece in her Substack, and uh, I think this is one I can do without the book because I get the gist of it having lived it, but I, I want to go to you for more uh, granularity and explanation of how we got here. So what it, what is the best place to start? Is it to discuss the plasticity of the brain first so people understand how this could happen? Do you think that's the, the best way, doctor? Yeah, well, you gave already a couple of hints. Uh, you talked about uh, some people were immune to it and others weren't. And the immune system actually is the key uh, issue at that point. And uh, uh, when I look at this, I see our body or or, or, or our being as composed of two immune systems. When we talk about immune system, most people talk about the bodily immune system, yeah. which helps us to fight against microorganisms pathogenic microorganisms, but there are also pathogenic macroorganisms out there, usually come on two legs. And uh, these pathogenic macroorganisms we also have developed uh, over the yeah over the evolution of humans, uh, and even before that in the evolution of, of the animal kingdom, there's another immune system, which is the mental immune system. Yeah. And uh, what I've shown in my book is that the mental immune system is under attack. So we have to understand, in my opinion, what the mental immune system consists of, why it is under attack, and what happens if it's under attack. And once we do that, we can explain essentially everything. Mm 